Sunday and I'm about to go grab some coffee real quick and get my day started, try to do some planning for the week and figure out what we're gonna have for dinner or what I'm gonna do today and all that kind of stuff. So I guess I'll take y'all along for that. But also I wanted to check the yard real quick to see if any of the weeds are dying since we sprayed a couple weeks ago or a couple days ago. Um, they definitely look like they're suffering a little bit. This one is it's losing some of its pep for sure. This one looks like it also is a little bit wilted. Uh, I don't want to walk all the way through the grass, but I think what we're gonna have to, gonna have to do is <clears throat> apply a second coat. Um, may need a third too, but. Yeah, we're going to have to keep using it and just um, give it some time to work. Because there's a lot of weeds. <laughs> a lot of weeds in our yard. So, anyway, let me go get my coffee. <sighs> yeah, I'm tired. Yesterday was a long, busy day. Oh, goodness. When I got home last night, it was 1 in the morning. I got home like 12.30, between 12.30 and 1, and I was so tired, so I got into bed and went straight to sleep, <laughs> put my pajamas on and went to sleep, um, so when I woke up, I was like, let me just run out real quick, it's like, let me run out real quick and get some stuff done, I got my computer, I need to start edit editing tomorrow's video, and then also, um, just need to like get my life together y'all I need a, just a minute <laughs> to decompress and figure out what's happening this week so that's all I'm about to do I will see y'all when anything interesting happens but probably nothing interesting is happening just to be honest got a bacon egg and cheese croissant and I've never had a breakfast sandwich from um, Duncan before but this is actually really good they had a $2 um, breakfast sandwich deal so if you bought with any purchase you can get a $2 breakfast sandwich and I think that is lasting through June through maybe like the end of June or something <clears throat> can't remember when I can't remember when it ends but I think I know it's June because like, today is June so I think it's like until June the 30th so yeah, if you want to try one of their breakfast sandwiches, now is the time. It's only the normal breakfast sandwiches though, not the signature um, sandwiches. So I think I'm just going to park out or camp out right here. I got my new tablet. Got my laptop. I'm going to start editing. And I'll see y'all a little bit later.
okay guys it's been a super chill day it's much much later now it's 7 30 um i've been in the house <laughs> since like 12 30. um i sat out this morning with my coffee and my chicken my breakfast sandwich and i was editing and i got a couple hours of editing done or maybe an hour and a half before my computer that was about to die and i had to head home um, then I finished up the video and got it uploaded, which y'all know takes a couple hours. <laughs> and then um, I was trying to watch a movie on Hulu, which I might finish while I'm out. Um, it was called T-I-M, like with a period between each, what's it called? An acronym. It was an acronym for something, but I can't remember what it was an acronym for, but it's T-I-M. Um, and it's like a robot movie, and the robot was called Tim because what it was actually called was an acronym it was it had three separate words it was an acronym for something but yeah that movie's on hulu came out in 2023 i was watching that but then i ended up remembered that i had to pay a red light ticket that i got <laughs> so i was trying to do that and then it wouldn't go through kept declining for whatever reason their system wasn't working right i tried five different cards and then finally one looked like it processed but it said there was an, a, a, an error with the system like a system error so it was like don't go back and just call this number but it's sunday so i'm pretty sure nobody's working so i'm gonna have to call tomorrow and get that squared away so i'll spend some time doing that let me run my window up and then i was just basically just chilling y'all i was oh i was planning a trip <laughs> um for father's day i'm taking bernie to we're doing a little road trip to norfolk for his father's day gift so um i was planning that and researching the different things that we can do um i booked the one of the things that i was planning on doing was um like a little dinner cruise like a romantic dinner cruise and i went ahead and booked that and then the other thing i needed to book was a hotel and then i was just trying to figure out like what our itinerary would be on that trip so like what we're going to be doing i know i want to do spa day or i know i want to do spa treatments so i want to do a facial and a massage he probably just wants a massage if he wants a facial i'll add him a facial too but i was trying to find some nice spas out there that we can go to so yeah we'll be in norfolk for father's day weekend and um i was just trying to figure all that out so i got the hotel figured out i got the cruise figured out i got the meals figured out i think i might go get another cup of, of coffee and just chill in the car and watch youtube for the next couple hours i'm just gonna be chilling i'm not i don't have anything to do but chill so that's what's happening right now um i showed y'all the kids playing hopscotch they made them a whole little obstacle course with chalk <laughs> which was super cute and yeah that's it i'm about to just chill for the rest of the day and okay Kane and Cody got into an argument over a freaking computer mouse so now I'm headed into Walmart to grab Cody a new mouse so that they are not fighting over it it's, they're so annoying <laughs> anyway let me go ahead and grab a mouse so I'm gonna take y'all on my errand While I'm here, I'm also going to grab the Tahitian Vanilla Body Scrub that I saw on TikTok. Let me show y'all if I can find it. It should be here. These are so cute. I wish they were glass, but I should buy stuff like this because my kids break glass every time I buy it. But I just prefer glass, y'all. What can I say? They have two different colors. It's like gray, charcoal color, and then the clear. But they are uh, not glass. They are, what's the material? Um... I don't know some kind of plastic they also have wine glasses they have these shot glasses in two different colors they have tumblers 
and then they have like plates which these are actually really cute really cute actually and um, some serveware okay let's get this mouse so we can get out of here okay I'm just gonna grab a wireless mouse this one is cute so I'm gonna call her and see if she likes this one if so it matches her um, room and everything so if so I'll grab grab this one I couldn't get her on the phone so I just went ahead and got that one because it's cute and it works and it's a mouse so whew, it's heavy I got a watermelon my body scrub and um, the mouse so I'm done it is 9:40. I'm about to head home and get my butt in the bed so I can get ready for work tomorrow or so I can I'm about to go get ready for work tomorrow and get in the bed and we're about to go out today because we got a lot of shopping to do but I wanted to give y'all a quick yard update because this is a home update video so last week we sprayed our yard with I'll show y'all in a second when I go back in the garage what the product is called but we spray the yard and I want to show y'all what how the weeds are reacting to it because we are trying to get our yard weed free so we can um, plant some more grass seed and have a nice lawn next year I don't think it's gonna happen this year but next year hopefully so here is how it did on a lot of on let me get out the way so here's how it did on this particular weed you can see that a lot of them are dead or dying um, this one over here the red one it is wilting for sure um, a lot of them are kind of like in an in-between stage like it's not fully dead but it is killing it here's another example of that particular weed that is um, dying this red this orange stuff I don't know exactly what it is but it was standing up when we sprayed the first time and now it's laying down um, you can see that this all of these are they're going <laughs> they're almost dead so we're gonna do another application probably tomorrow and that should kill them completely if not we'll do a third um, here's another one it's not fully dead but it's dying it's on its last leg and this is what our yard looks like right now so still a lot of weeds that we need to tackle um, a lot of the ones that were over here they were white flowers and a lot of them are dying you can see that they are struggling you can see the flowers themselves are like <laughs> they just look really bad so yeah I think that I would recommend that product for sure making this video reminded me that I need to go get my camera out the house but let me show you all the product okay I can't find the bottle uh, he may have used it all um, we bought two bottles of it this is what it looks like um, and what it's called and as y'all can see it's doing a really good job so I'm gonna call him see if he actually used it all or if um, it's hot y'all What's the temperature today it's 81 right now I'm going to call and find out if he actually used it all or if he maybe hit it somewhere because it's very toxic and you don't want your kids to accidentally use that on something else. It smells really bad um, and you don't want to be downwind <laughs> when you're spraying it either because it's toxic. Um, it's a herbicide or it's a, I don't, I don't know, it's one of the sides. I don't know which, which one it is, but um, oh my hair got to go up into a ponytail y'all. It's too hot. But yeah, for I think the bottle was like 17 or 18 dollars for that price. I am extremely happy with the weed killing abilities of that particular brand of um, weed killer, and I'm definitely gonna repurchase so we can do it again because that's great results. It's only been like a week, so yeah, tomorrow we're gonna respray, so we gotta be prepared <laughs> for that with some extra with some more spray bottles. So I'm gonna again contact him see if he used it all if not we need to add that to our list of things to do today to pick up some more of that weed killer so that we can spray tomorrow because you have to spray when it is two weeks I'm sorry when you have at least two days with no rain 
coming and I believe we're gonna have three or four days a three or four day stretch without rain this week or um, over the weekend and into next week so Friday will be the perfect day to spray so on the agenda for today I gotta get this car washed y'all it's bad <laughs> it's bad I get it I got it washed I want to say on Friday and now it's Thursday so definitely definitely needs to be rewashed um, I need to go to Costco I have I started a list on Instacart and that's a little hack <laughs> if you oh wow this wow okay if you have an Instacart account you can always create your shopping list on Instacart and it won't give you a true idea of how much stuff costs but there's no other place to build a Costco list a Costco shopping list like with pictures and stuff so if I were like sending my husband to Costco I would certainly want him to have something to see pictures and um, like what things look like because otherwise he probably wouldn't be able to find them because he doesn't know what stuff looks like um, oh, it's really dirty. Instacart is not as useful as like a store app like Walmart or Target because it's not going to tell you what aisle it's in how much it costs and you know exactly where to find it all that kind of stuff but it will give you a picture of it and it's better than like him or me having to Google each individual product and find a picture it just makes things easier <laughs> and quicker and it's so easy to go into Instacart choose Costco and just you know find all of the products that you want type in what you want find the one you want and add it to the cart so I love doing that I've been doing that for years and it's the perfect way to build a cart for anybody <laughs> not just your husband but anybody if you share an app with somebody like login information with somebody then it's it's a great way to get them to go to the store for you and make sure that they're getting the right thing especially when there are multiple sizes of something like a butter tub for instance you can get a small tub of butter or you can get a big tub of butter peanut butter you can get a small thing of peanut butter you can get a big thing of peanut butter so if they don't know how many ounces how many how much it's supposed to cost and all that stuff they might get the wrong thing so yeah I like to see and, it, and if you're using like Walmart or Target it's gonna tell you whether or not something is in stock so that is super helpful but yeah anyways let me stop rambling while uh, a car wash Costco I need to check BJ's app and see if they have this lotion y'all because this is my favorite lotion and I refuse to believe that none of the um, none of the stores have a larger version of it so I'm gonna check BJ's and I know I don't believe Costco has it but I'll also check Costco and I can't think of anything else I need to do right now so whenever I figure it out y'all will be the first to know okay y'all it is several hours later I've been working but now we're heading into Costco to get this shopping done. We also need to go to Aldi because I need to get um, fruit from there and probably veggies. I don't like buying that stuff in bulk because it goes bad. So let's run in and get most of our protein from Costco. And um, probably some snacks. Okay, let's grab one of this. They have it on sale, so. And we go through this so fast because we run a dishwasher every day. So I'm gonna get one of those. Y'all, look at all these fireworks. Maryland would never. <laughs> I'm originally originally from Maryland. Um, lived there most of my life, and they do not have fireworks. You had to go to Virginia to get them. let's start over here with bread let's get some um, hamburger buns and some normal bread um, 110 calories 7 grams of fiber 10 grams of protein yeah definitely gonna grab one of these wraps Also, we're trying to decide between this one and this one. So it's 
This one is a 12 count. It has, and this one's 16. This one has 180 calories. This one has 190 calories. But this one has, uh, they both have three grams of sugar and this one has nine, nine grams of protein. But this one has six. So, I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab this one this time. I think 12 buns is enough for the next week. <laughs> I don't think we're going to have eat more than 12 buns in the next week. So I'm going to go with those. The Pepperidge Farms. We don't eat a lot of pork, but these look so good, y'all. <laughs> they look so good. I think I'm going to grab a pack of these for dinner tonight. two pounds of shrimp. I'm trying to figure out if I should just get the ones at Walmart that have... Oh, these are peeled. Okay, yes. Perfect. It says tail off. Yep, these are the same ones they sell at Walmart for $14. Okay, so rather than buying burgers at Target, I'm trying to decide. They're $7 for four. $7 or $8 for four at Target for super lean ones I can't remember oh these are only 75 25 no I'm gonna go to Target because I want um, leaner burgers and these are 25 for 15 third pound patties it's five pounds total for $25 but it's super high in fat so I'm gonna skip this particular one and just get the ones at Target instead let me see if they have anything else Wagyu get 18 for 27.99 this one is six pounds but this one also is also 75 25 this would be perfect for a grill but for like cooking burgers in a pan he's gonna have so much fat okay found a better option they have the sirloin patty six pounds for 28.99 they have 28 grams of protein and um they're 320 calories versus 440 for this one Now for the eggs, they have two dozen for five dollars, and they're cage free. So, and you can also get five dozen for twelve dollars. I don't need that many eggs, y'all. I can't. I don't have no way to store that many eggs. We're gonna get these, and then I'll just transfer them to a smaller container to hold them, so I can fit them in the fridge without any problems. Also gonna grab this uh, cottage cheese so I can make some egg muffins. Oh. And 
and some mozzarella cheese. Also looking for some turkey bacon. Here it is. Hold on, two and a half pounds for $15. Let me see if this is cheaper at BJ's. Mm. The best comparison would be this. And it's $13.99 for 24 ounces so not a better deal this is 40 ounces for 15 When I come in here, I really have to remind myself, you're only shopping for a week or two. You don't need to buy the whole store. I need some of this, and this is such a good price. I prefer jam, but for $6 for three, we can do jelly. I want to compare these to the Costco brand, see what the price difference is. These are $4.69 on sale for a pound, 1.3 pounds. I need to find the Costco ones because I want to see those too. And then also, I'm going to go to, mm, I'll just get this here. I don't feel like going to other schools. I was going to go to BJ's just to get Doritos because you can get two of these for like $9, but I don't feel like it. Oh, here are the other ones. How much are these? Oh, that's not it's not in the right spot. But you get two pounds of this one. I need to find where those are so I can see how much it costs. Um, oh, but the wine. We need the wine. This is our me and Bernie's favorite wine from uh, almost period at this point. We love this. Um, so let me get three bottles of the sangria. Have you tried these? Yeah. Are they good? Yeah, they're good. Okay, good. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, gonna try this one. It's on sale for four ninety nine for a big old bag. We can eat this with some guacamole, or we can eat these with guacamole. Okay, so the Costco chips are six forty nine. Oh, this is the same one. Hold on. Where's the one that was three pounds? Oh, it was two pounds. Was it this? This one's two pounds for uh, $4.49. Oh, and this one's two and a half pounds for $6.49. Okay, that's why. I'm going to get one from the back. Uh, that's a lot of chips. It's a lot of chips. But it's also a lot of people in my house, y'all. And we go through stuff so fast. By the time six people get a snack, it's like even one of these big bags, like this bag of Doritos, after all of us get a serving, it's like a halfway gone. So, yep, 30 servings per container. So, if everybody got chips like three or four times, that's it. And that's if everybody's getting exactly one ounce of chips, which we know they're not. <laughs> okay, so Cheetos are $7.39, so I am going to put the Doritos back and go to um, BJ's for this because it's just a lot cheaper. And BJ's and the bags are the same size. This is 28 ounces. I'm going to put these back. I'll get two bags of chips at Target. I'm sorry. <laughs> What's the name of it? BJ's. And then as far as the tortilla chips. We do not need two bags of tortilla chips. But 
like ten dollars for both bags. I'm trying to decide. Uh huh. Yeah. This one is definitely gonna go first, and then we'll have this. So I'm just gonna leave it. Um. So I don't. Have, I don't have to come back next week <laughs> if I don't want to. Now let's just go check out the last few aisles, and then we can get out of here. car getting heavy to push lord go go squeeze uh are on sale this week making them a better deal than the ones we normally get which are these um fruit and veggie packs this is 24 for 11.99 and this one's tw 28 for 12.49 So, go go squeeze. This golf cookies are on sale this week for $5.99. So I'm going to get a pack of these. And also the Pepperidge Farm cookies, 30 pack, are on sale for Okay, finishing off the shopping trip with these granola bars, and I'm done. Almost forgot the thing that I came for, which is trash bags. Oh, I would have been so mad if I went home and didn't buy this. Now we're done. Yeah. I spent $500 in Costco. I, I have sticker shop. <laughs> but honestly, I would probably spend that in two weeks at at Walmart because I'm in Walmart like every day, every other day. So yeah, it will live. But um now I'm gonna run in BJ's, get the chips. I'm gonna get cookie dough at BJ's because Bernie's gonna take the biscoff off cookies for his lunch next week. And over so I'm gonna get cookie dough the chips and um King just called me and said they need body wash in their bathroom so I'm gonna grab them some body wash from BJ's and then I need to run at Aldi to get fruit and veggies and that's it I did get some more like convenience sorry y'all that the air is so loud it's hot okay we can turn it down a little bit but um I did get some convenience like meats at um Costco. I got the pork chops that were already seasoned. I got chicken wings that were already seasoned. I got the um, the salmon with the butter. And that actually wasn't that bad of a price because if I would have got just straight salmon without it being like cleaned and cut and prepped and ready to go with the butter and the herbs and stuff, it was $10 a pound for the wild caught salmon. And it wasn't like, it didn't look as good. So I think I paid $24 or $28 for the prepped salmon and it was two pounds. So I guess I paid eight dollars for them to prep it, <laughs> or twenty or six dollars, but um, or was it twenty four? It was something like that. But yeah, um, worth it because <laughs> that's what stops me from cooking sometimes, and then we end up in the drive through because I don't feel like doing all of that. So I was willing to pay a little bit more for some things for some like food that I knew we would eat, and it would make it easier to get a meal on the table versus like having to do all the work from start to finish and prep it and wash it and you know all that so anyways oh the salmon was uh 26.50 with the butter and herbs on it so i paid 6.50 for the prep which i'm fine with that all i gotta do is throw it in the oven and we're good so now i'm about to run in bj's really quick grab these three or four things that i need and then 
we're gonna go in Aldi and then home because I got some frozen stuff that I need to make sure it does not melt fully <laughs> before I can get um, before I can get out the door or before I can get it into the freezer okay let's go Okay, one thing I want to correct is that this is a smaller bag than Costco. This was, this, I think this was 22 or 24. This one's 18. So, yeah. And then, body wash, body wash, body wash. This is all hair stuff. Oh, here goes soap. Let's get some. Should we just get bars? They have the Method Body Wash Trio. I feel like this was they had a uh, they had a different one at Target at uh, Costco. I think it was two in the pack. Let's just get. Uh, what should we get? I'm about to take my butt right to Walmart and get something and just get something there. Seventeen dollars for a three pack. It don't have to be body. It don't have to be a name brand. Yeah, this is something I'll get at Walmart because I don't want to pay twenty dollars for body wash. Okay, let's get the second bag of chips. I think I'm gonna get these. Yeah, definitely a smaller bag than Costco, but also cheaper because these are uh, 18. Oh, they got spicy nacho. Oh, they got the barbecue too. Um, I think I'm gonna switch this out for spicy nacho. But two for nine is unbeatable because oh, they got sweet spicy chili too. These are a bag that's not even this size at um. Walmart is you're welcome it's um like six dollars I want to say for the party size actually I'm gonna get the sweet chili now what else did I say who's getting in here cookie dough. Let's get this cookie dough and then we can get out of here. Cheaper at Walmart, actually, because you get a pound, I believe, at Walmart. Yep, a dollar ninety-seven for sixteen ounces at Walmart. But one thing they do have a good deal on is these sweet potatoes for a dollar ninety-nine for three pounds. I'm gonna grab these, and yeah, we're gonna get out of here. You guys is slipping on their deals. Okay, y'all. We're finally almost done. Let's get this last little bit of the trip done at Aldi and just as a recap I'm only going in here for um, fruit veggies and sparkling water
apples, grapes, spinach, two salad kits, um, Brussels sprouts, cantaloupe, mangoes, and then sparkling water. I think we're good. Okay, y'all, we got in and out Spent $35. Very good haul. The only thing I didn't show y'all in the store was this because it was half off, so I'm going to use this tonight. For my um, spaghetti squash, I'll have some of that with it and some spaghetti sauce. And that's it, guys. So $35 for a bunch of fruits and veggies. Yum, yum. Can I eat now? Yep. Good. <laughs> 